Right, so we've got the uh, spouty thing to come last. Uh, looks more complicated than it actually is. Um, if we look at the clues that we've got here, that's a 35mm slice off of an existing truncated um, cone. And then we've got a little bit of an extension. So we've got a cylinder, which is 20 by 24. Uh, we've got this cone which is a 100 diameter or 50 radius um, top radius of this cone is um, 12 and then we've got a 20 mil extra pokey out bit join that together we'll slice it and then fillet it and then we'll shell it and remove that face then we'll fill it full of holes um, and then we'll do it like this so let's choose the cone tool click a base point and 50 for our base radius hit enter specify height or top radius enter and that's 12 hit enter and then our height is 100 so that's that first bit then we'll go on to our cylinder and we'll choose that as our center point and it's 12 radius and the height of 20 so that didn't take too long at all to create that thing. Let's just check we got everything right. 12 radius, that's 24 diameter, that's 20 high, and that was 120 overall, so that was 100, yes. So, so far, so good. So we can join these two bits together. Uh, I keep selecting them first, I know I shouldn't, so choose the tool. It's this solid um, union. Enter. Then we'll slice this. So if we just go back to that, we draw a line, um, control shift quadrant, pick that up and make sure it's zero degrees. And um, we'll then do a little rotation of the x axis so we can easily flip that up to a 90 degree rotation of the x. Look at the oops top view. Let's go around and around again. Let's get this. Now this needs to be rotated uh, 35 degrees off the horizontal. So 25, 30, 35 degrees. This is going to be our slice plane. The slice plane, I think, is infinite. It's just two points on a plane and then keep the bit that uh, you don't want. So choose slice, section plane, slice, 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 there it is. So slice, choose the object, hit enter, specify first point on slice plane, specify the second point on slice plane, choose the bit you want to keep. Nearly done. <coughs> Fill it edge. Um, Radius 5, good. And that's it. Look at that, how easy was that to create. We've just got to shell it out now. So, shell, select the object, remove that top face, hit enter, 2, enter, enter, enter. <coughs> so, 3 minutes so far to do that. Alright. Easy. So now we've got to fill it full of holes and basically we create a hole, array the holes, trim out the bits that you uh, remove the bits you don't want, then kind of extrude all the holes uh, into this shell and subtract one from the other. Um, holes are one radius, two diameter, equispaced about four mil centers about the center of the face. Okay, so what does that mean? That means we draw a hole in the middle and then every four mil we've got another hole. So we'll start off by copying some and then we'll create a array. You could array this um, if you wanted to and then you know I find it easy just to copy the damn things, mirror them around um, two planes or whatever um, until I've got the ones and then delete the other ones. It's not pretty but it works. To work onto this face, we might as well use um, UCS face option. So, uh, 
choose face, select the face, accept the face, and now we can work on this nice and easily. Um, probably might be easier to go back to there, maybe, maybe not, maybe we'll go on to this. Um, so, circle. Find the midpoint. That's the key, and it's one radius. So there you go. Might be easier, in fact, if I t -t -t layers. No, that's hopeless. It's even worse. Red. So we can see that thing. Just make it a different color. Or I've created some basic layers. LA for layer. Um, I've created three, four layers, cyan, green, red, and the viewports layer um, for later. That's where I got that from. This is the layers tab. So we need to copy this from there, and it's four, then it's eight, then it's twelve, then it's sixteen, then it's twenty, twenty-four, and twenty-eight. That'll do. Don't know what that one is. <coughs> so now we need to select Eek, I can select those. <coughs> Excuse me. And copy these. So up there. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty four, twenty eight, thirty two, thirty six, forty. Enough already. mirror that lot between there and there and we can mirror that lot with the exception of that lot for mirror about that face. Okay, now we've just got to select the bits that we don't particularly want. It's fairly obvious when you start picking into these. They go fairly tight. Let's just check one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we got two, then we got two. Five, then three. I've got our okay, cake, so it's. Don't need that one. Two and two. Two and two. Then three at the top. So it must mean that that one and that one <coughs> don't exist. Okay, so now I'll unlock my layer. I'll select all those and move them back onto cyan layer. As they're selected, <coughs> I will extrude them and I extrude them in this direction. Ten and then I will 
remove them. Kind of looks like a brush. Vertically up. <coughs> Let's use that. Um, say four mil. Then I will subtract from that all of these. Bit of luck, the wind behind us. We'll have this. So you can just see through those holes. Just see through those holes there. Okay, so that's pretty much how to do that. Just a little bit of fiddling and faffing. Um, let's go back to world bottom. So, all we've got to do now is position that onto there and position that onto this thing. And we just need to rotate these. This is uh, 45 degrees, I think. What was it? <coughs> um, 45 degrees chamfer, so 90 degrees. So, that, so it's 45 degrees. Okay, so we've got to rotate this 45 degrees. So again, we want, um, let's go back to this now, uh, a Y angle, <coughs> sorry, X, ang X axis rotation of 90 degrees. Then we can select this and just choose rotate, we can find it. Let's pick that point and choose that choose 22 and a half, oh, in fact, why not just go for 45 degrees. So, that's the first bit. We can move that M for move. Pick that point and move it to that point, I think. I think that's right. And then we have to rotate this, which is vertical. Um, so let's rotate this. There you go, I think that's right. Cross that bridge in a second. Oh, yes, it is. Look at that. Marvellous. So, let's have a look at our completed watering can. How fab is that? Um, so the last little bit will be setting it up onto the pave space. I'll show you how to create those views and the textile, which is all quite simple really. I think you've got a template, so I'll not bother with that. But I'll just um, show you how to set up a template, how to create some views, uh, just in case you're a little bit unsure. Um, and how to create those sort of scrap views as well, especially in 2013. It's slightly different. There's a new um, layout tab which you use to create your viewports. Okay, I'll delete all those. And we can start from scratch.